Hey, it's Rob, the Ignorant Entrepreneur. I'm in bed with a bucket of ice cream watching my favorite anime. Why? Kramer says investors are in denial about stocks. The sell-off is real. Oh, man, I took some huge losses, guys. And I am one of the people who's looking at it like, uh, you know, the market's been bailing me out for so long, coming up pretty much the next day after it falls that I didn't know if this was real or not, but I'm willing to accept it early. In the face of a brutal market sell-off that has knocked U.S. stock averages off their highs, CNBC's Jim Cramer on Thursday said that the market must run through the grief cycle before investors may spot the bottom. If you want to be able to bottom fish at lower levels, make sure you've got a little cash to be able to do it with, because the real rally can't begin until we work through these five stages of grief, the Mad Money host said. Once that happens, though, you won't want to miss out on it. His comments come after stocks finished lower for the third straight session, dropping the tech-heavy Nasdaq composite into negative territory on the year. The Nasdaq is almost 10% off its peak close from last month, while the Dow and S&P 500 are both more than 3% below their February highs. Some investors are eager to buy at the dip and continue to ride the bull run, but Kramer suggested that there is more room for equities to fall due to the bond market, adding that many are in denial about the state of the market. And that's the adjustment I think I'm going to make today. The investment community has to go through the five stages of grief, which are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and then acceptance, the host said. Right now, even after a 6% decline, we've still got a ton of denial. People don't want to believe that the sell-off is real. The market's been so good for so long, and many new investors have never seen this kind of pummeling, so the downdraft does seem pretty surreal. Fixed income investors worried about inflation that could come with the U.S. economic recovery are selling bonds, and the activity is bleeding into the stock market. Institutional investors taking their cue from the bond market are swapping tech and growth stocks in their holdings for cyclical and value names, and retail investors can't afford to ignore it, Kramer said. Kramer did suggest that a one-day decline of as much as 7% in stocks could fast-track the market to the acceptance stage of grief, where there's a collective sense that the market's toast. In the meantime, he said investors should have cash on the sideline and wait for the right moment to find the market bottom in the multi-week decline. We're going to get some bounces, bounces that make people feel like their bargaining has succeeded, but it hasn't, Kramer said. If you lighten up, you're going to be ready for the moment of capitalization, the crescendo, the acceptance that marks the trough. I believe I'll certainly be making an adjustment. I may just hold in some of my positions, but I'll definitely be looking out for some puts. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. Like, comment, subscribe. This has been the Ignorant Entrepreneur. To better days ahead, I'm out.